Hello, tubers. It's Robert 28, 1979. Well, a little update on the case and a couple other little things we're going to do. Uh, it's not the plugs in that valve that are leaking. I figured out why they cut that out. There's something on the back side of that valve that is actually leaking. I'm guessing the seal, maybe the o rings on the little plunger or something are bad. So that'll be uh, fixed later on. I'll just keep rolling it for now. Just keep it parked in one spot. And I wish I had the camera on me earlier. Because I had this thing pulled up in here earlier, parked up here, it was running. I was letting my younger son drive the KS222. You can see the burnout marks on the floor. There's another one over here somewhere. Anyways, he came pulling in here, full throttle and ran up on the back of the 646 yeah luckily the he actually kind of drove up onto it and luckily the front's got them little deals where the snow blade used to be caught in his tire and stopped it from keep going and flipping it but uh a little bit of a scary ordeal scared him more than it did anything but i have some brown paint that's Kind of hit this back spot. Just kind of see how it look on here. I don't like it. It don't match the case brown, which this is. I ain't worried about it. I'm just gonna cover that spot. Just has some bare metal there and stuff like that. But yeah, I ain't too worried about looks of it right at the moment. But it did function really great while it was running. Uh, reverse on this thing. It ain't hardly got reverse. I don't know what the deal is. <clears throat> you can put the bucket down flat like that and it'll back drag. Pretty decent. You put any weight on it or put it down real hard and this reverse just sits there and just kind of just clicks like that. It won't go. So I don't know if maybe the motor wore out or what but forward, I mean, it'll it'll dig into a pile and it'll bog this thing down. About to try to die as you're trying to push into the pile. So, it's got plenty of power for and forward. But I gotta figure something else out on the throttle because it's not throttling idling up high enough. So, this little deal just don't work right good enough in my opinion. So I'm going to try to figure something else out, something different. Maybe come off off of here. You can barely see. There's a little night slide on there. There we go. That will break it there. I'm going to see about coming off with another one. And come out and tie this into underneath the exhaust to pull this even better. So, but she works good. you got to tie that. And this battery, will, it won't hold the charge. It's... It's all enough of a charge and it, it peters out. Which I'll show you that right here. That's it. So I don't know if it's if it's not charging the battery back up when it runs or what. I haven't a clue. Because there are no wires to speak of coming off this motor other than the one for that cool. And that's it. Now like I said, I believe this motor came off a gen set. So the battery power from that also alternated off of the vehicle. Whatever camper it was in, R V. So I need to search around and look and see if I can find wires around to see what I can figure out as far as if this thing even has a charging system on it. So like I said, there's no wires coming out anywhere. <laughs> so I hope that's not the case, because then that means you got to stick it on the charger every freaking time you use it until the battery runs dead, and then you got to turn around and recharge it to keep going. So I don't know. I'll figure it all out. So no big deal. But the essence of this video is. I got some packages in the middle of the day. And we're gonna open these things up. 
I already know what they are, so. But I ain't gonna let, let you in on the on the secret here. See if I can do this one-handed. Keep going. Nope. Not gonna work one-handed, so I'm gonna try to see what I can do as far as sitting y'all up on something here. Try to get take all my vice, maybe maybe that'll work. Kind of make sure you're in frame here. Now I'll kind of come over here and open them up. The first one is by y'all can read that Matt Verdil LLC at a Punxsutawney PA. Let's see here. Ah, the heck you trying to open it that way? I'm trying to find my knife. Just slap her on open. Now, what have we got in package number one? Yeah. No slipping bill in this one. Got us another fan for the case. Because eventually I'm going to get the rest of it and put it on the 646. <coughs> so I knew that was coming in. I know what the other ones are. Something else for the 646. So that there for right now. And this one here is from Matt Verdil LLC. Same place. I seem to be doing a lot of buying stuff off of him. He's got quite a, quite a bit of part for these cases. Need are as you can see these are the rubbers for under the seat and I'll show you all that here in just a second Let's see if I can pick you up without stopping the video but these little doodadders make sure that you see I got one on this side but not on this, so I'm gonna put these on this. Because when you're sitting on this thing, you're sitting kind of crooked and it kind of hurts your back after a little bit. But then I ordered these before I even got this thing running because I knew it was gonna need them. So, but yep, yeah, those are the new parts for this. Like I said, the, the fan blade up there, I gotta order the shaft and everything and get back into the front of here, take that damn pull start off this thing and all that good jazzy junk. And I, I gotta figure out, there's gotta be a charge wire coming off this thing somewhere. I mean there's wires. That's like a ground wire there and then this wire is for the points or something. It goes to the bottom of this, and then this wire comes off of this, and it comes to here, and then here to there. But there's no wires coming out of the front, which would indicate a charging system. So, what I may do, since I've got a pulley in the front, I may see if I can incorporate... <coughs> this bad boy on there. This is an alternator off of a late model or yeah later model Chevrolet or, or early model I should say. I believe it came off like an 80's model, 70's model Chevrolet. So it's easy to build brackets for it, easy to wire them in. You got, you know, the charging ground right you know building ground charge and everything's right there so pretty simple pretty basic pretty easy setup uh, it's missing the actual charge but so I've got that alternator which actually belongs to a buddy of mine I can do that one or uh, make you a little dizzy with all the spinning around going on I've got Somewhere over here, I've got another alternator beside this one. Uh, that's for the 6.5 diesel. 
It's for the the 93, 94, 65s were in this style, and no, 93, 94, 95 they changed up the brackets on the front a little differently, and this is a good alternator, which I can hook that one up on there, just change out the pulley on it, which ain't very hard, and somewhere else I've got another older alternator, and if not, I can pick one up at Salvage Art pretty cheap, uh, and stick an alternator on it that way and yeah it's going to rob some of the horsepower out of the motor <laughs> but you know if this thing doesn't have a charge system behind the flywheel then that's the other al alternative is to do it that way which is fine by me I'm not real picky or hell bent or anything like that on it as long as it works but uh Anyway, that's where she's at. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So, if you ain't subscribed, subscribe, rate, comment. Let me know what y'all guys think. So, until the next one, y'all take it easy.